in this video we are going to be looking at for loop so this is the syntax for for loop okay this one for then uh, parenthesis uh, variable equal to 0 or variable variable initialization then variable less than value then variable equal to variable plus 1 then close bracket begin and statement inside begin and end we have statements in order for the loop to be synthesizable okay so in my last uh, tutorial that is uh, it was about a uh, while loop that what we learned in that tutorial that while loop is not synthesizable because during the compile time the synthesis tool won't be able to know if if the synthesis tool won't be able to know the number of times for the number of times that the loop is going to run then it is not possible for the synthesis tool to generate a hardware for that uh, respective code okay but the for loop for the for loop to be synthesizable the synthesis tool needs to be able to know the number of times it will run means during the compile time if the synthesis tool will get to know the number of times for which that loop is going to run then it will be synthesizable that means the synthesis tool will be able to generate a hardware for that respective piece of code so for the for loop to be synthesizable the number of loops the number of loop should be known to synthesis tool during the compile time this is what it is written here in order for loop to be synthesizable the synthesis tool needs to be able to know the number of times it will run means a loop can be synthesizable as long as the number of iterations is known to the synthesis tool means if the synthesis tool will get to know how many times the loop is going to run during the compile time then it will be possible for the synthesis tool to generate a hardware else and if it is possible for if it is possible for the synthesis tool tool to generate a hardware then that piece of code is synthesizable synthesizable means the code should have respective hardware and if there is no hardware for a particular logic for a particular piece of very log code then that is not synthesizable okay so here it is written for i equal to 0 i less than 10 i equal to i plus 1 this is synthesizable because during the uh, compile time the synthesis tool will get to know that the, the loop will run for only 10 iteration okay it's okay because the tools knows that there are two 10 loop iterations but if it is written like this raise 10 is to 0 x then for i equal to 0 i less than x i equal to i plus 1 it is not okay right because x is a variable here x is a variable and it is 0 is to 10 okay so 2 is to so it is a very very it is a variable so x can be 0 1 2 3 it can be anything right so it is unknown at the synthesis time so during that compile time it is unknown to synthesis tool so the synthesis tool cannot generate a correct hardware for this one because x is a variable and it x can be any value it can be 0 it can be 1 it can be 100 it can be 1000 it can be 2000 then how the synthesis tool is going to generate a correct hardware for this logic it is not possible so this piece of code is not synthesizable but this piece of code is synthesizable means this for this code for this piece of code for this loop the synthesis tool will be able to generate a hardware but not for this one okay or maybe it will generate a hardware but may not be a correct one maybe it is a weird one okay so what a for loop does and okay so what a for loop does say for i equal to 0 i less than 10 i equal to i plus 1 so for i equal to 0 it will execute one statement for i equal to 1 the same statement again for i equal to 2 same statement for i equal to 3 same statement so what it is doing actually this for loop it is just creating a number of copies of a piece of logic for example if it is written uh, let me give you an example okay if it is written for i equal to 0 
for i equal to zero and i less than two, i equal to i plus one, i equal to i plus one, then y equal to a of i plus b of i. So what it is doing? It is simply addition, right? It is simply addition, addition. So a of one, sorry, a of zero, then a of one, a of one. So for two times, two times means for i equal to zero and i equal to one, it will work. So what it is doing for i equal to one, it is what it is doing. Y equal to a plus b, it is doing. Then for i equal to again one, what it is doing? A plus b. So what exactly it is doing? The for loop. It is not creating a fixed number of copies, right? So this this the same thing. The same thing is repeated for two times. This statement is repeated for two times. If it is i equal to, if it is i less than three, I suppose if i less than ten. So this piece of the single piece of code, this logic, this addition logic is repeated for ten times. Okay. So this statement is this one. What a for loop does is create a fixed number of copies of a piece of logic. So this simple logic, this simple logic is this logic is repeated for number of iterations that has been mentioned. If it is hundred means hundred hundred number of times hundred number of times the same logic means the addition is being done the addition is done here actually okay so this is what a for loop does okay then for i equal to zero i less than four i equal to i plus one begin memory of i equal to i end so what it, what it, what exactly it is how it is inferred so this means memory of zero so i equal to zero so it is zero it is zero that time. So memory of zero equal to zero, then mem of one. It it is so there is increment every time. There is increment of i. So mem of one equal memory of one equal to one. Memory of two equal to two. Memory of three equal to three. So this one is synthesizable. Very log this for loop it's perfectly synthesizable. It is synthesizable, but under certain certain conditions. You remember those those conditions means. As long as the number of iteration is no, known to the synthesis tool, okay. For example, in this case, the synthesis tool knows that it has to run that loop for four times. See, one, two, three, and four, four iteration. So, it will be able to generate a correct hardware for that one. So, for loops are perfectly synthesizable, but certain conditions that has to be met. Okay, you can use procedural statement within loop. Okay, so within this loop, you can include a procedural statement. Even if if else also for inside the for loop, you can you can write if else also. Okay, the number of loops must be pred predetermined. For for the for loop to be synthesizable, the number of loops must be predetermined. Else your your synthesis tool is not going to generate a perfect hardware, right? Or real hardware or your correct hardware. Then this one for i equal to zero, i less than four, i equal to i plus one. Begin so this code. For this code, this is this is what I mentioned here. This uh, for loop, what it does is create a fixed number of copies of a piece of logic. So a single logic, a single piece of logic is replicated, right? It is repeated one for the number of iteration. So so in this case, what 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 it is? It is adder, right? It is it is doing the addition addition operation. This one here, A and C. It is doing the addition operation. So the resulting hardware. So for i equal so four times i equal for i equal to zero, for i equal to one, for i equal to two, and for i equal to three. The so four times the same logic is repeated. A equal to a equal to a plus b, c equal to c plus two. So the resulting hardware will be a chain of adders summing the values from Four array indices. Okay, so this is repeating this logic. This is repeating this logic four times. Four times. So it is a chain of adders. So this is this is adder. This is adder. So else, as it is repeating four times here because of this for loop, four iterations are there. So there are chain of adders. So four number of adders you will find. Four number of adders. And what it is doing? Summing the values from four array indices. Okay. Then the next one is uh, it is another example actually. So initializing a location uh, zero to one zero to uh, zero. There is a location for example. Let's say it is a memory. Okay. So here it is zero one then one twenty three. 
सॉरी वन जीरो सो टोटल वन जीरो सो थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी फोर लोकेशन आर देयर सो इट इज फोर बिट फोर बिट एर रजिस्टर एर सो दे आर थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी फोर लोकेशन आर देयर एंड ऑल द लोकेशन हैज टू बी इनिशियलाइज विद द वैल्यू जीरो सो यू इन दैट केस फॉर लूफ हैज बीन यूज सो फॉर सी फॉर आई इक्वल टू जीरो आई लेस देन वन जीरो टू फोर आई इक्वल टू आई प्लस वन ए ऑफ आई इक्वल टू जीरो ए ऑफ जीरो इक्वल टू जीरो द फर्स्ट वन विल भी जीरो ए ऑफ वन इक्वल टू जीरो ए ऑफ टू इक्वल टू जीरो ए ऑफ थ्री इक्वल टू जीरो सो ऑल विल भी जीरो ऑल विल भी इनिशियलाइज टू जीरो सो ऑल द वन जीरो टू फोर वन जीरो ट्वेंटी फोर लोकेशन विल भी इनिशियलाइज टू जीरो बाय द सिंगल बाय द सिंगल लाइन बाय द सिंगल फॉर लूप सो इट इट इज सिंथेसाइजेबल दिस कोड इज सिंथेसाइजेबल बट हियर इट इज अ टेस्ट बेंच हियर इट इज रिटर्न इट इज नॉट अ मॉड्यूल वन इट इज मीन्स इट इज नॉट ए लॉजिक डिजिटल लॉजिक सो इट इट इज एक्चुअली टेस्ट बेंच बिकॉज यू आर रेज देन देर इज नो इनपुट एंड आउटपुट ओके सो दिस इज हाउ दिस इज ऑल अबाउट दिस फॉर लूफ एंड हाउ द फॉर लूफ वर्कस एंड वेदर सो वी लर्न हियर इन दिस लेसन दैट वेदर फॉर लूफ इज सिंथेसाइजेबल इफ इट इज सिंथेसाइजेबल देन देर आर सम सेट एंड रूल्स आर देर and if it is not synthesizable then why i explained that if it is synthesizable means that uh, number of iterations and number of loops that uh, your synthesis tool is going to run during the compiled compile time should be known so that it will be able to generate a uh, piece of hardware and real hardware or you can say correct hardware and if it is not known during the compile time how many times the loop is going to run then even if for, for loop is also won't be a synthesizable one okay so Thank you so much for watching and uh, if you like the content then please do like and subscribe this channel thank you so much